check this out. All right. There we go. This is the pepper cannon. I know you know what this is, and I bet you're wondering, what is this? Well, after um, months, literally months of begging, uh, Cleve, Cleve, I think is how you say his name, uh, the creator of the Pepper Cannon and other very cool man kitchen products has sold me a prototype of the Salt Cannon. It's a little different than the Pepper Cannon to help keep up with corrosion and stuff like that. We're gonna put some salt in it. I gotta get some salt out of another, uh, another grinder because I'm almost out, but we're gonna check this out. I'm gonna show you the inside of it show you some of the changes. Um, I am super excited. Check that out. Man, kitchen. Salt, where does it say it? Right there. Salt cannon. I can't find it, where does it say it? Coarse fine salt cannon. There we go. I bet you could see it before I did. All right. There we go. It's backwards. Stay tuned. Oh, by the way, this video goes out to Colton. Uh, Colton, buddy, I found out recently that you watch all of my videos, and I think that's pretty freaking cool. So I appreciate that. I appreciate you. And this one's dedicated to my buddy Colton. Stay tuned. Prop up the uh, prop up the camera, and uh, I got to get a little bit of salt out of this this one. Got a little bit left. I ordered some. I get this salt from uh, Spice Jungle. I love it. It's nice and thick. It's Himalayan. All right, this is the salt cannon. It's a prototype pepper cannon. I've had this one for about a year. I love it. Um, and finally, uh, he came out with a salt cannon. So the first difference is obvious, silver. You might wonder, why is it silver and not white? Well, Clive felt that white would get dirty faster, uh, so he decided to make it silver. Um, what other differences? So, uh, you see how smooth that runs? That's because there's nothing in it, right? But the, the precision, listen. Can't even, can't even hear it. It's so smooth. So that means everything in there is balanced. It works the same way. It's got this little thing that, you know, you push in to get it off, to load it. There's a food safe grease on here that you'll never have to mess with. Uh, I also verify that you should never rinse this thing out. It should stay completely dry. You know, salt collects moisture, so there's some concern there. I asked about rinsing it. Should never do that. It's got, let me try to line this up. It's got um, ceramic, a ceramic grinder in there for obvious reasons to uh, prevent corrosion. It's the same design, little O-ring. Uh, you can do this a couple different ways. I'll show you with the pepper cannon, but you can uh, grind it into the, into the uh, base and then dump the base. You can just grind it right over. I tend to grind the pepper pretty often into the base and then sprinkle it if I'm peppering something that's cooking, right? Because I don't want the steam to end up in here. Uh, if I'm peppering something that's not cooking, I'll just pepper, you know, I'll just grind it right in. And you know, the whole design of this is a massive amount of pepper with less cranks. If you watch, uh, you know, the video, the man kitchen video, there's like 70 cranks for the equivalent of some very low number of like six or seven, I guess, uh, depending on, um, well, actually, it doesn't depend on the coarseness because you're always going to get that huge volume and then you just crank down the coarseness, crank it up or down uh, to get thicker or finer grinds, but it's always producing a ton of pepper. So it's just, you don't have to use a ton of pepper. It's just less grinds, you know? 
two grinds and you're done. With this thing, it's like eight grinds. Anyway, I'm really interested to see how coarse it'll grind, and we're gonna test that in a minute here. It's obviously the pepper cannon box, and they just you know blocked out pepper cannon. Um, from what he said, the new box is gonna be um, white with silver, uh, with a silver pepper cannon image. Uh, same deal, pretty much, you know, it's got some foam in it. Uh, this is a prototype, so it didn't come with the extra O-rings, uh, but I'm sure that you'll get some extra O-rings for the base if you, um, in the final product, right? So let's take a close up here of the grinder. I'm gonna have to hold the end, but the setting, it just clicks. You click through, and let's see which way we're we turning. We're going for finer, so you just click, keep clicking for finer. I wonder if it bottoms out. It does bottom out, so right there, that's the end. And then um, you back it off for course. So let's start off. Well, you saw how many times I twisted. Well, let's just back it out all the way. Hmm. Well, that's, that's pretty ridiculous if you look right there there's huge gap. So we'll just start there and see what happens. But evidently, it's an infinite turn once you're backed out all the way. It'll bottom out, but it'll let you just infinitely turn it. Let's put some salt in it. I'm just gonna do it here on the table since the table's black. Oops. Okay, well. That's what happens when you open it up all the way, if you were wondering. So let's go ahead and close this down. I don't wanna to touch this because the grease on here is sticky. All right. So what I did was I turned it to about where I can see that the gap has closed. See what I mean about that sticky? First grind, get that grease off my fingers. There we go. So, wow, that's a shit ton of salt. That was just one turn, one quarter turn. And then it does keep kind of coming out a little bit. That's why I bet the pepper does the same thing. When I use a pepper mill, um, it when I put the lid on and I put it back, somewhere, you know, on the shelf, whatever. It, um, that's not a very good view. There we go, that's better. Uh, it, uh, when I use the pepper mill, it, uh, gr it, it, it leaves grinds in here all the time. And um, yeah, see, my wife just got home, so we're gonna have to pick this up in a minute. <laughs> and I'm gonna get in trouble for that. Okay, didn't get in too much trouble, cleaned up that mess. And um, so what I was saying is, every time I stick the uh, pepper cannon back in the base and I leave it on the shelf, when I pick it up again and I just pull this off, I end up with, with pepper in it. And the same thing's gonna happen with the salt because there's some amount that is in there that will just continue to come out. Uh, I didn't realize that, uh, why it was happening on this. So I'm gonna show you right here, I guarantee you, uh, we'll grind a little pepper, right? And then I'll stick this in here, put it down, pick it up, and we have pepper in there. So that's why that's happening. If I shake it, more pepper comes out. That's interesting. If you just want a tiny little bit of pepper, maybe that's the way to get a tiny little bit of pepper. Anyway, so that was the, uh, that was the setting, um, just eyeballing it. Let's go ahead and turn it, uh, much coarser. So we'll pull it out a little bit more 
and wow, look at that. That's nice for like a steak, I think. You got some fine in there and some super coarse. And that, that opening is a little bit too much. What's happening is the finer pieces of this stuff are coming out. So my recommendation is that you buy the most coarse salt you can find for this thing. And let's go ahead and open it just a bit more and see what happens. It doesn't really fall out. And do one more grind here. Yeah, that's even, that's even heavier. So I think for me, it's gonna be torque this sucker down pretty good. None of it really falls out, and that's a nice grind for salt for me. If I'm gonna use a flaky salt, I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna use a different product, right? If I'm just salting, that's the that's the coarseness that I want. So let me show you. I'll give you a little close-up here. We've got the pepper mix from the grind that I keep on the pepper. Here's this coarser grind salt. And then here's the, the grind that I really like, right there. Let me get the vacuum out here and clean this up. But what else can I show you about this thing? Um, the build is fantastic. The build is fantastic. These are gonna be my go-tos. I've kept this outside because it's totally weatherproof, right? It's aluminum. And um, I was using it by the grill, but I think I'm gonna use, these are gonna be my go-to. We're gonna put these in the, um, right in front of the stove. And I'm gonna take all my others. This was the little bit that fell out at the beginning. And then let me go ahead and retire this guy. Actually, what I'd use these for, I'll show you in a minute. I use these for other things. They're wood and they don't match anything in here anymore. They were from my old house. They match the cabinets pretty well. Nothing in here is this color. So let me uh, show you where these are gonna live. And I did get salt all over this. So let me see, get a little paper. A little paper town, just kind of clean it up a little bit. There we go. I love it. I love it. And if you uh, grind it into the base like this, so just give it a twist, then you've got kind of your prescribed amount to sprinkle over your food, however you want. Yeah, I dig it. Let me show you where they're gonna live. All right, this is the current setup. Let's get some light in here. There we go. And uh, we've got coconut oil, uh, olive oil, and um, avocado oil, green peppercorns, Szechuan peppercorns, smoky black peppercorns, white peppercorns, I use these most often. Regular black peppercorns. And all of these are now going to get relocated uh, into a cabinet. And you guessed it. We're gonna do the pepper cannon and the salt cannon. And that is gonna be the setup. Much cleaner. Everything matches, matchy matchy. Nice. Well, there we go. All right, well, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, keep an eye on mankitchen.com. I'll put the link below to see uh, when they finally release this, this guy. Uh, but 
I'm pretty pleased. Works exactly as I thought it would work. And it looks great. Definitely a conversation piece, in my opinion. And um, as always, see you next time. Just real quick. Silver. Silver. Perfect.